Right. In case you're wondering what I'm doing, I better take my mask off. I'm in the middle of spraying the nursery for aphids. And I thought I'd just show you a little video uh, before I start spraying. As I always say, I'm forever doing jobs. And when I start doing a job and suddenly realize that this is something that you viewers would benefit from, I stop. And I'm right in the middle of spraying and I said to myself, I must stop and show you what I'm about to do. So I'm going to reverse the camera and show you what the aphid problem looks like. So here you go, let me change the camera shot. So I've just taken the spray can off my back and although the nursery looks so colorful and beautiful, look at it. Today is the 6th of April and all the maples in this greenhouse, our workshop, are all in full leaf. The color is absolutely dazzling. Wherever you look, there's a patch of orange, green, red, you name it, the colors are there. Look at all these beautiful colors, beautiful, beautiful colors. This is Benichidori, that is Deshojo there, and some magnolias. But, you know, pictures may appear one thing, but the reality is quite another. So what do I mean by that? If I look closely, let me try and bring the camera close, and you can see, I don't know whether the camera can home in on the aphid, but let me just show you what aphids look like. There you are, now it comes into view. Can you see those little insects on that twig? Those are the aphids on the end of the soft twig. So whenever you get these soft uh, shoots growing on maples, you can bet your bottom dollar, if I can use that expression, that there will be aphids lurking in there. So let me just go to another little twig, and there you go, look at that one. You can see, see those little insects on the leaves there and on the stems? Those are aphids. So wherever you look, there will be hundreds, if not thousands of maples uh, that are covered in these wretched black fly and green fly. Uh, you get them on vegetable plants like runner beans, but I find that on our nursery, they love the maples. So wherever I turn, I'm going to find lots and lots of aphids. So let me go to uh, some more plants and I will show you. Aphids, of course, only attack the soft leaves of maples, but pines are affected by another insect pest, which I often refer to, and that is the um, adelgids, and that is a completely different insect altogether. So let's move on, look at this one. Wherever I look, you will find it. Can you see those insects there on the edge of those twigs, all those black insects? So if you don't watch it, they will suck the sap of the leaves and they will ruin the leaves and you won't get decent leaves for a long, long time. You probably have to cut those leaves off uh, and start again. So aphids are a real nuisance, big problem with maples. So let me just go to another branch and I will show you more of the aphid problem. Now this is a deshojo which has just come into leaf. See, some of these insects we have sprayed the previous day, so they might be dead already. Like that one, the end of that one, you see those black insects there, they are like dead insects. And usually the telltale signs is that you get the sticky sap, and that sticky sap is what the aphids exude. Look at this one, look at the tip of that, covered in those insects there. So 
that is a classic uh, sign of the aphids. So as I said, it's the soft shoots that carry the aphid. Look at this one on the underside of the leaves. They are all covered with aphids. So that is the insect that you've got to eliminate. People give all sorts of weird uh, tricks that they try. I've heard a common one saying that if you use washing up liquid, you know, for dishwashers or washing your plates and dishes, they say that that gets rid of it, but I've never found that to be effective. Again, look at the underside of this. Again, covered in aphid. So literally every leaf in this nursery, look at the aphids there, all covered in aphid. So I'm going to spend about half an hour literally spraying all the leaves to eliminate the aphids. Unfortunately, even if you use bio-friendly things like ladybirds, how many thousands of ladybirds will you have to use to get rid of it? Very difficult, look at that. It's absolutely smothered in aphids. That one is smothered in aphid. As I say, it's something you can't help. If you grow maples, you are bound to get an aphid problem. You cannot avoid it. See, wherever I look, look at that one. It's absolutely smothered, smothered in aphid. So, having shown you this, I will proceed to spray it and get rid of aphid. Again, look at that one. So, I hope you have learned something from me showing you this. And then the telltale signs, if you look at those leaves there, you can you see the shiny, sticky substance on the leaves? That is the sap that these aphids exude. And when you see sticky leaves, that is a sure sign that aphids are about. You see how shiny that is? That's the sap from the aphids. So I hope you've learned something from this very short little six minute video. Right, I'm not advertising any product, but this is what you can buy from garden centers or garden stores. You see, it's called a fruit and veg bug killer. So the common pests, you see, this is something you can buy as well to eliminate aphids.